Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Haven't vlogged probably in a week because life is kicking my butt at the moment. Not gonna lie, that's as far as I can get into it. But dear Lord, this year, it's just ending with a bang. But that's not the point. I wanted to show you a few things. Today's Sunday and on Wednesday, allegedly, we are getting part of our couch. Long story. Basically, they said for sure I was going to get here December 7th and then they emailed me on Friday and they were like, JK, January. So I called and they said that they can deliver two pieces of the couch and the other one will be delivered in January. So two pieces is better than no pieces. So anyway, I got the rug in the mail. We got it actually a few days ago. So let me show you the living room rug. Y'all look at it. Ah, I love it so much. I think we could have gone, gone a tad bigger. Um, and honestly, maybe we should. Let me know what y'all think. I think this is an eight by 12, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think it looks great with the coffee table. I think it looks great just with the vibe. It's basically the exact same size as the fireplace almost. So let me know if y'all think we should go a little bigger but our couch is a sectional so it's gonna come up to both sides of the rug so i think it might have been a little too much if it was bigger but let me know definitely once the couch arrives we'll make it like a for sure decision but i think it's so pretty it is kind of colorful but not really i love how it's like kind of like washed out we got it from rugs usa so thank you to those of you who suggested it but I love it so far, it's so cute. And then from TJ Maxx, I've been wanting some black lanterns and I found my favorite ones from Crate and Barrel, but they were so expensive. So instead I went ahead and got these. So I got these in the mail, one yesterday and one today. Here's the other one. I think they are so pretty, they were only $16. So I'll go ahead and link those down below. It is currently raining. I don't know if y'all can see our wet backyard and these dummies want to come in <laughs> had to go get a towel for their paws because no ma'am here they are a little mad because it's raining <laughs> also dante got me these stunning roses from h-e-b i think y'all look at the color of those roses they're like orange red they're so freaking pretty and i freaking love them and then i decided to put these on the windowsill let me know what y'all think i don't know what to do with these i got them like on a whim on amazon and i don't know if i like them <laughs> so i just have them here for now we wrap some of the gifts i love getting wrapping paper and bags at home goods and marshall's so we have some stuff this huge one is my mom's i'm so excited for her to open it this has been her dream for the longest time and I bolt no oh my god they have to be on the rug at all times like my anxiety can't take it <laughs> um but yeah i'm so excited for my mom to open it and then i'll show you guys like on christmas what i got her but yeah i feel like the house is finally coming together it is quite messy in here just because i had four dogs to take care of this week but let me show you one thing in the laundry room so we finally got our little floating shelf at ikea to put our wi-fi because before it was literally on top of the laundry and i love it i think it looks so much better i definitely want to get another one and put it here no i have not gone to sherwin williams to get the paint to like paint over all the holes i've done in this house but hopefully i'll do that this week also just kidding i actually found this at tj maxx no at marshall's on 290 if anyone's wondering from houston and y'all i'm so excited it was on super sale and i actually love um half-baked harvest that instagram that is usually the instagram where i get all my recipes recipes and i'm always talking about them on my vlogs so if you're looking for more like inspo this cookbook is great i'll link it it's sold on amazon for like 17 dollars also also i am trying to grow my own like herbs and veggies again so i started by using the like white part of the green onions and i'm just regrowing them i'm so excited i'm gonna go to home depot this week and get some more supplies i'm making some lunch for my fiance my dad and i 
I get my salmon frozen at Costco. Someone asked me that in one of my cooking vlogs and it is the best value and honestly the best cuts. And I'm just making it with some cauliflower rice because I've been eating like crap all week. And I am using my new Kratom Barrel Cup that I love. And this is actually, let me show you. It is the Cranberry Ginger Beer, I think. What is this called? Cranberry Ginger Beverage from Trader Joe's. It's so good. It's 2 o'clock, so I am not drinking yet. But these um, seltzers, they are by Oddside. I got them at a brewery once, and they are delicious. So I found them at Total Wine. This is a mess also. Oh, I think I talked about this already, how I didn't like the Bud Light seltzers, that I 100% prefer the press seltzers but we have a few left it is the next day good morning i'm currently boiling some water in our electric kettle because i'm making some tea this is very rare for me but i actually run out of coffee and i'm waiting for my nespresso machine to come in it comes in on wednesday so i'll let y'all know once it's in but i've been really liking tea not really for the mornings but at night so let me show you my favorites i am loving this little bar situation um, a lot of my cups are dirty because I've been drinking so much tea, but I got a ton of different teas at Marshall's Mainly for sleep. So let me show you. They're like in here So I got a an organic peppermint tea without any caffeine I heard it's really good for like digestion Then I got this tea sampler. That's all like different ginger. So lemon ginger ginger chamomile ginger peach and ginger singer and then this one is amazing it is chamomile and lavender it's great to relax and sleep and then this one is because i want to stop taking melatonin it is an extra sleepy time tea but like i said love the situation i ordered a new espresso so i stopped buying coffee out especially for the cold i'm so excited but since it is the morning time right now i am gonna go ahead and choose a few of these so i'm gonna go for the ginger peach green tea infusion and hmm, should i do peach mango or citrus i don't know i love mixing teas y'all so I went for both of the peach, peach mango, and peach ginger. Hopefully they taste good. I also got these insulated or double lined cups. Not insulated. They're like double walled um, at Marshall's and I love them. So I'm going to drink this. The dogs are outside. It is a very, very gloomy day in Houston and very cold. And our backyard desperately needs to be clean. Actually, this whole house needs to be clean. I am about to go to spin. I haven't been to spin, y'all, in like a little over a week. I feel so bad about my body. I've been like so bloated and eating like crap all week. Like I cannot believe I'm even filming this because I just don't feel good. And I weighed myself this morning. I still weight the exact same. Haven't gained any weight. It's just, I don't know. I guess like my digestion is a little messed up. And since like I've been eating kind of crappy and haven't worked out, I just don't feel great. So today I'm changing that. I'm going back to spin and hopefully that will make me feel better. I'm wearing this set from Opali. It is by Bow and T and it's ribbed. I love it. I got it on Black Friday and it's very nice for this kind of weather i'm wearing a long sleeve a sweater and a puffer because it is incredibly cold and i have to go kind of soon also i am incredibly influenced by tiktok in case y'all couldn't tell and i saw this little stand on someone's tiktok and it's kind of cool you can put your phone you can adjust it a bunch of different ways why did i just turn my flash on and it has like a hidden little drawer right here but i don't know if i like it it's like kind of like cheap ish and it was 30 bucks so instead i think i'm gonna get the acrylic one that i was thinking of getting and yeah, I just don't know if this one is worth it, but let me know what y'all think. If you have any like stands for your desktop, which one do you prefer and which one do you like and why? Y'all, look what I just made using um, like a Starbucks dupe recipe. It's supposed to be a vanilla cold foam cold brew. 
I will try again and give you guys a recipe tomorrow because this looks incredible. It's so foamy. It almost looks like whipped cream, but I use very little whipping cream. So exciting stuff. Oh, I also use this. I wasn't able to open it a few days ago because I'm so weak, but my fiance opened it for me. I found it actually at Marshall's. Okay, y'all, it happened. Are y'all ready? Okay, it doesn't look obviously like it's gonna look, especially because we do have to move things around and we're missing a huge middle piece of the couch. But, <laughs> y'all, oh my God, after all that stress, it's finally here and it's, beautiful so it's like this sandy kind of like beigey color i don't it's very hard to tell on camera but it's not white it's not cream i don't know how to explain it it's almost the exact same color as the walls maybe a little bit darker so compared to this this is way lighter this is more sandy so basically we're missing the middle piece that's gonna make it kind of like a sectional these are the two kind of like chases that are on the sides obviously the dogs and Dante love it and I'm just so freaking excited oh I'm so excited I'm sorry if I'm being annoying but I'm like literally so excited so basically we are moving that out of the way I don't know if you can even see we're moving that out of the way obviously the christmas tree needs to be moved as well and then in january we're going to have the full thing i just think it looks so good with the color of the rug we chose the coffee table everything but and i haven't even told dante this yet <laughs> this 100 percent cemented the fact that i am painting the fireplace because the dark gray just doesn't really go with it's the light dark. vibe no so babe no Oh my god, and look how like fitting the ornament or not the ornaments, the stockings are with the color. Oh, I'm so excited. What are you talking about? It doesn't go. Baby, it baby. Goes. We'll discuss. No, uh no. but yeah. I'm You're so excited. Not, we haven't moved this yet. We are later today. But y'all, it is so soft. I cannot recommend it because it was so treacherous. Dump the, the shoes. <laughs> oh my god. It was so treacherous to even get it, the process, the customer service, but wow, I love it so much. Good morning, it is the next day. I wanted to show you my office. So in the last vlog, I kind of showed you all how I wanted to get rid of the rug. My office was kind of like moved to the side. We just thought it would be best for the computer, but we were able to stabilize the desk and it looks so good i also got a new piece of furniture from amazon it is a shelf it wasn't my top pick but i like it so let me show you the office so here it is it definitely looks way better with the desk in the middle i totally agreed on that we just needed to figure out a way for the desk not to like move around so much i still want to paint the legs of the desk i feel like i've been talking about that for so long but yeah in the middle it looks so much better i did move the computer around and then i got the shelf please ignore that that will be moved and then i want to get something i don't want to say what yet on this wall and then i might like move these two things around we'll see but the shelf is from amazon right now i just have it with all these weird decorations i really don't know what to do with it i'm really bad at styling shelves but i have some of my favorite books i actually got this book yesterday from home goods and some candles i also got this from home goods yesterday i just thought it was cute and um this if you watch my videos was actually wood and i ended up spray painting it black and i think it looks much sleeker but yeah i have all those random things there like i said i'm moving that getting a very exciting thing for this wall and then i've been thinking what i want to do with those things definitely getting rid of these two things but i think it looks much much better what do y'all think let me know your thoughts and opinions definitely very girly <laughs> um which is very fitting for me and i just think this space just fits the vibe so much better than the other space also this looks so ridiculous y'all um since we don't have the middle part this looks like a straight up bed and yesterday we watched movies and it's just so cozy but you may be wondering Philo, why the heck do you have it covered in blankets because the dogs are obsessed with getting on it 
and I just every time they go outside I wipe their paws but I just don't want anything to happen to it so for now when we're leaving them in the house alone I'm just gonna cover it in blankets that way if anything happens they will get it on the blankets and not the actual couch but yeah this is the situation I had to put this here so Skippy could get in and out of the couch and y'all it's so cozy I just can't get over it and I don't even think I told y'all that I got the Nespresso machine in the mail yesterday the excitement on, over the couch was real but yeah I got the virtual next line and I thought it wasn't gonna come with any pods but it did come with like a little sampler pack I did order a bunch of like flavored pots that are coming from the actual Nespresso website so I'm waiting for those right now. And I swear y'all we've been so obsessed with teas that we actually picked up a few more. So my fiance got this from Marshall so it was like $9 and it comes with a ton of different ones. And then I saw a TikTok about these to make like the Starbucks medicine ball and like knock on wood that is not wood. Where is some wood? this is what i guess i haven't gotten sick and i won't but i wanted to try it out for like a nice cold day so i got the peach tranquility and then the citrus lavender i had this one last night and it's incredible so yeah we are quite the tea collectors right now but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here i feel like this vlog is short but it has a lot going on so i'm gonna start a new one um today is thursday and i wonder if the next vlog will go into like christmas we'll see i don't know why i'm like thinking about that but i use the dyson arab i have a hair appointment on monday thank god i just need to get some of these very dark pieces fixed oh yeah i decided not to like go brunette yet i'm gonna keep my blonde for like a little bit longer go brunette maybe next year not ready for that change yet a lot of just a lot is changing in my life i don't need my hair to change too but yeah i love you guys thank you for watching thank you for being here and i will talk to you guys in the next one